Young, free and unemployed. 24-year-old Elsa Marquez hasn't had a proper job since she graduated last year. She spends most of her time looking for work. It's very hard, but I don't want to think to being at home every day. I'm quite old and I need to start working, start er earning my own money and I want to leave my mother's house someday. <laughs> Elsa's part of what some economists fear could become a lost generation, a drift in a recession-buffeted jobs market where those on temporary contracts, i.e. the young, are suffering disproportionately. Overall, unemployment in Spain blights one in five of the working age population. The figures for youth unemployment, though, are even worse. Spanish youth unemployment stands at just over 40 percent. That's the highest in the European Union, more than double the rate in Britain and four times the rate in Germany. To bring it down, the government plans labour reform. The unions are trying to stop it. They fear it'll become cheaper and, therefore, easier to sack people. That, say employers, is the whole point. If they can't fire, they won't hire. Labour reforms, says this man, are essential. The truth of the matter is that a country with as high an unemployment rate as Spain's is a country with a pretty uncertain future. Government spending cuts, tax rises and sluggish growth won't help. For Elsa, though, things could be looking up. She had a job interview last week and is hopeful of success. Elliot Gotkin, Bloomberg, Madrid.